tonight on Wise Guy. So what are you reading? It's my high school yearbook. We're having a 15th year reunion tomorrow night. So who's Denise Danelli? What do you think? She could hurt you. Another piece of advice. Stay away from Danelli. We're going out. You're not going out with Vinny, are you? Yeah, I am. You can't date Vinny. She was one of my best friends growing up, and now she's a cop, though. She is investigating you. You're destined for a fall. Ah! Denise, give me your hand! Drop me, and I'll kill you. Ah! Yeah. Vinny? This is Denise Donnelly. Deni the Denise Donnelly? Yeah. What's it been, 15 years? Yeah, married, divorced, the whole shebang, class 75. Um, hey, we're having a reunion. When? Tomorrow. Kind of shot in the dark to call you, but I tried to find you for the 10th year reunion, but your mom didn't even know where you were. Hey, oh, hold on a minute. Who is it? Frank. What? You got a key? Come on in. So where is this thing? You gonna come? Terrific. Yeah. Tomorrow night at the manor. Look, I can't wait to see you, all right? Hey, wait, wait, Denise, is there a, uh, a dress code for this thing or what? Sister Marion will be there, so you gotta keep your shirt tucked in. Oh, yeah, Sister Marion. I gotta go. I'm in charge of finding guys like you. Um, do you have any idea what happened to Dutch Shamstra? Don't have a clue. Neither does anybody else. Gotta go. Bye. Wait, Denise, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What about, what about Mooch? He'll be there. Good, good. And, um... And, uh, you wanna know what I look like? Yeah. You gotta wait till tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Bye. Bye. Oh. oh. Denise Danelli. Oh. Oh. Hey, Frank, what are you doing? Oh. Oh. The rumba. What are you doing here? I haven't been away from a bathroom for more than 10 minutes since my second day in Mexico. Oh, you know, your house is exactly 10 minutes from the airport. So here I am. You had a tan when you came in here. Oh. I just need a few minutes for the blood to rush back to my head. It sounds like a great vacation you had. You know, all I wanted to do was lay in the sun and read a book. In the first 24 hours, I got sun poisoning Montezuma's revenge, and I stepped on a sea urchin. You, uh, you want a beer or something? Oh, Vinny. 
No, I just need a little time. Make sure my stomach's not gonna erupt again. So what are you reading? It's my high school yearbook. We're having a 15th year reunion tomorrow night. Yeah, I missed my 10th one. You know why? Why? Because I was in prison. Establishing my cover as a thug for the OCB. Yeah, I never stopped to think about how much you miss by doing undercover work. Oh, it's part of the job description. Huh? Yeah, I know, I know. But you never stopped to think how, uh, how doing that will affect the little things. I mean, how can I go to this thing? Because I say, uh, hey, yo, Vinny, what you been up to? Well, what am I going to say? Uh, I did a stretch in Newark and now I'm running with the mob? It's either that or uh, I got my degree in criminology and I carry a badge now, big mouth, and I got your number. Well, maybe you shouldn't go. Maybe I want to go. I want to see these people. Oh, Mooch, Richie, Denise Donnelly. Huh? I wouldn't mind even seeing that Dutch Shanstry if they could find them. As much as I want to see them, I'm not comfortable with the idea of them seeing me. It just perpetuates the lie. So who's Denise Danelli? Let me show you here. Just... <laughs> what do you think? Right here. Huh? <laughs> she could hurt you. <laughs> She's very beautiful. Yeah, yeah. The time can change that. Oh, I know. Just look at you. Anyway, huh? What, you got a gaggle of kids now or what? I love you for asking. What's this? No, oh, I don't. Sarah, Ira, they're yeah. twins. Uh -huh. Ben is the oldest. Nice Irish names, Maloney. It's Joyce Berkowitz now. Berkowitz? <laughs> yeah, can you believe it? I'm Jewish. <laughs> Yo, Vinay! Hey, Moose! How, How you, you doing, doing man? <laughs> oh, Joyce. All the boys. Hi, Mooch. Yeah, see you, see you later. See you later, huh? Look at you, I don't believe it. Look at yourself, Terranova. Not too shabby. Yeah, I figured you'd be in prison stripes by now. Why, like you? You bum, you'd have stayed in touch with me. I'd have kept your record clean. You're a lawyer? No, no, I, I just had the cards printed up. Of course I'm a lawyer. Why else would I dress like this? You don't sound like a lawyer. I got to be able to communicate with clientele. Yeah, Mooch Cacciatore, a lawyer. Unbelievable. <laughs> you fan, man, don't Why? call me Mooch. Why? It doesn't go with the jurors. Oh, listen, get a butt. I gave that up, Esquire. Let's go. Come on, good here. <laughs> We're not before the magistrate, Danelli. It's only a job, you know what I'm saying? 
Look, uh, I'll be at the bar. You're still single, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is a great place to pick up the horses. <laughs> so? Disappointed? Well, I don't know. Let's see how the evening goes. How you doing? I'm good, you? Okay. You haven't changed? Yeah, no. Come on. Uh, I gotta get my ticket. You got it. Uh, we're at the same table tonight. And we're not alone. I'm your date. Right? So how'd you know I was coming stack? Surprised how much I know about you. You haven't changed either. Just a little smart ass. So what's with you and Mike? But heads a lot. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're not a lawyer too, are you? What? Me? No, I'm a cop. NYPD detective. Racketeering division. How nice for you. See, that's where the money is in the horse business. Breeding rights. That's what I sell. And you know what seven ounces of horse brim can go for? Top price ever paid? A million dollars. What's your take out of that? An ounce and a half. Five percent. Over the course of a year, I can do 10 million in trades. And I thought I was making a killing at 50 bucks an hour threading pipe. So what are you doing, Vinny? Uh, I'm in real estate. Excuse me. Probably the slumlord. Give me a scotch, will you? Now he's looking pretty good, huh? Yeah. Hey, Mooch. Forget about it. Well, I think the uh, term she used to describe you and people of your ilk was, um, scum. <laughs> All right, look, she carries a grudge. I get the best of her in court a few times. And she's in love with me for not marrying her. Oh, yeah, right. I bet she's real upset with the fact she don't have a goiter, too, right? <laughs> well, you wrong with now. Nobody. I'm independent these days. That's good. Yeah. Hey, you want to play softball tomorrow? Out of here. No, no, there's a couple of guys having a pickup game. Yeah, I'm right. sure. Yeah. You anticipate being indicted? Yeah, then I'll feel it home. Pat me down, all right? You know, you two tick me off, both of you. What? You used to be good guys in school. All right, so you used to get in a little bit of trouble, but at least you cared about the people around you. Now, you take advantage of them. You help let them go. Hey, Denise, don't be afraid to speak your mind or anything. <laughs> Vinny, this isn't a joke. You've become presumptuous. What's the matter with you? Don't even start the I need a man crap, OK? Because I'm not interested. You, you couldn't even stay at the table. Afraid to tell people what you do with your life? Real estate? You're a gangster. And you, you're a bag man carting around legal loopholes. Trying to keep gangsters on the street. And I think that makes you even worse. Hey, hey, Denise, we, yeah. uh... No. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yo, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. I didn't like it then, and I don't like it now. Sorry. Ow! Jeez. You know, I forgot how much I liked her. <laughs> See you later. All right. Hey, all Denise! Right. Please. Come on, don't be such an old lady. Look, that just made me remember how much I liked you guys, all right? Who you guys were? I'm still the same guy. Give me a chance. Yeah, right. Come on. Me. Vinny.
Uh, how you guys doing? Huh? Is it married yet? No. Oh, no, no, no. What's with the booch? Uh, he's doing great. He's a very prosperous gentleman these days. You gotta be kidding. No way. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Nobody gets married no more, eh? Huh? Nobody's married. Nobody's married no more. Is that it? You believe Tiny's still here? Yeah, some things never change. Oh, <laughs> well, this place sure has it. Neither have I, Denise. You shouldn't judge me without getting to know me again. Uh, Vinny, I know you're rap sheet. It's the only stumble in my youth. It doesn't mean I'm still not the same guy. We are, is in black and white? You sleep with Mooch? What stupid question is that? Well, you think I'm a gangster. What am I supposed to think? You're a whore? Think what you want. I know you're a gangster. Then what are you doing with me here? Missionary work. What do I know what I'm doing here? What, what, what do you think? Did I put people in the trunks of Cadillacs? Did I break their kneecaps with baseball bats? Fifteen years can change people. You know what? I think the fact that you're an NYPD detective is a terrific achievement. I'm very proud of you. Me. Vinny. Vince? Frank? Vince, why don't you use the doorbell like everybody else? It doesn't work. Nothing else works here, either. Hey, Frank. <sighs> what, do you move every six months, or what? Well, yeah, I mean, that's what happens when you get separated. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. Well, I went to my high school reunion tonight. I had the time of my life. You drove to Shrewsbury to tell me this? Yeah, yeah. I'm thrilled for you. <laughs> now I'm going back to bed. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, where are you going? How many times have you come to my house unannounced bringing me your problems? Then he just told me he didn't have a problem. Yeah, well, I don't. Oh, you want to come in and have a drink or no, something? No, no, no thanks. Not, why don't you come out here with me? Oh, Vinny, well, it's no, very it's late. Nice it's nice out. Cold. Oh, come on. Vince. Come on, it's cold. Sit down. It's nice out here. I met this whole friend at my reunion. Male or female? Cop. Male or female? What difference does it make? Female. Why did I even come here? <laughs> because you want to tell her you're a cop, too, and you want me to talk you out of it, you know? You want to show everybody your badge. If you just get out of undercover work like I've been telling you to, you can pin it in the middle of your forehead or wherever else you want to pin it. Well, why shouldn't I tell her? She's a cop. Listen, you do whatever you want to do. I'm just not going to give you my permission. You're a big boy. You make up your own mind. Yeah, I really wanted to tell her tonight, too, you know? I was just dying to yell it out. Hey, Denise, I'm a cop just like you. I'm not a gangster. I'm the same guy I always was. You know, she was one of my best friends growing up, and now she's a cop, too. Does she know your bent nose reputation? Know it. She's got my rap sheet committed to memory. She can recite every bogus arrest I've ever been through for the OCP. All right, wait a minute. She's a good cop, too. Uh, I'm just been giving me a hard time about my lifestyle, but we've gone through all the same conflicts. It's amazing well, how well, much we've got. Wait a minute, hold it. What? She is investigating you. Get the hell out of here. Did you tell me she's a good cop? Yeah. All right, you give me your name. I'll run a check on her. Forget it. I didn't come here for you to run a check on a friend. I came here because I needed help. Vince. Well, she's worried about me. I wanted to alleviate that. All right. Oh. You have it your own way. Yeah. But it's late. It's cold. I want to go to sleep. No, if you want to come in, no, please right. okay, come no, in. Okay, no, no, I won't. I don't. I get the message. I'm going. Good night. No, Vinny. Yeah. I gave up on the cover work the night of my tenth reunion. Okay, Frank. Good night. Good night. Bull 
Bulldogs fight adversity. Bulldogs fight for victory. Green and orange waving free. Bulldog spirit for eternity. Some power tearing over. Yeah, so I'm a little rusty, so what? You want a beer? Yeah. Uh, some people can't walk and chew gum at the same time. Can't get emotional, swing a bat. Just what I need. Your color commentary. You remember the city finals? You go in with hitting 445, and then Joni dumps you, and you go 0 for 8. I had the flu. Yeah, Joni flu, and you put the team into the toilet. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I don't need any lift from some big mouth mob lawyer. They pay a lot of money for this big mouth. Well, yeah, I can see why. With you, they figure they're getting two for the price of one. Lawyer goon, the gindaloons. <laughs> uh, with these guys, they figure, hey, this guy must be smart. Look at the size of his biceps. <laughs> these biceps assure me of collecting on a timely basis, my hefty fees. Hefty fees, huh? Like how hefty? 300 an hour. Get out of here. Huh. Not bad, huh? I used to work for one guy. He was paying me about 25% of that. If the law hadn't popped him, I'd still be underpaid. Who was that? Ricky Pinzolo. Pinzolo? I had some dealings with him. How can we never run into each other? Well, Ricky kept everybody in the dark. That's how I control business. You got him killed, too. What were you doing with him? Uh, I was about to uh, mediate a dispute between him and a guy named Sternberg. Yeah, that's what he got popped over. I know. I thought I knew all the players in that deal. I got my leg broke the week I got involved. Kind of took me out of things. So uh, now you're doing nothing? Well, I've been lucky where some people around me haven't been. And you know the result of being unlucky, don't you? I gotta be careful with the job I take. Yeah, well, you should stay out of it altogether. The only people making any honest money in this racket are guys like me. Well, what you do may be safe and legitimate, but it sure as hell ain't honest. Honest or not, you should find something safe and legitimate to do with your life. Am I gonna be getting a bill for this now, or what? No, I'll send you a bill when I find you a job you won't end up doing time for. I gotta go. Good. Yeah. Another piece of advice, stay away from Danelli. 
Hey, wait a minute, Mooch. Uh, you shut out on that one. She wants nothing to do with you. So don't resent me my shot. What? Your shot? Yeah. Your shot? What's that? What's going on? Don't do that. What, are you jealous? Okay, I'm telling you this for your own good. She's a cop. Oh, she knows a good collar when oh, she sees okay. one. Okay, well, thanks for the warning, Esquire. So, uh, so where are you two going? I thought you were leaving. I am, I am. You're making a mistake, Vinny. You are jealous. I can't believe it. I was intimate with the lady. I just want to make sure you treat them right, that's all. Maybe, maybe need a little cash. All right, well, you get out of here. I got to get cleaned up. Come on, where are you going? We're going to the Motel 6. What do you care? What are you talking about? <laughs> Look how jealous you are. <laughs> Look, Vinny, she deserves better than that. Yeah, I know she does. Oh, come on, get out of here, will you? At least spend some money. Yeah, come on, get out of here. Come on, Vinny. For crying out loud, give me a break, will you? Vinny! Vinny! You always answer the door with a gun in your hand? When I'm cleaning it. Y you expecting to shoot somebody? What do you want? You're not going out with Vinny, are you? Yeah, I am. Don't go out with him, Denise. You know who he is. You're taking a big risk. That's why I have this. It's Vinny. You can't date Vinny. For two years in high school, I went out with absolutely nobody, OK? Because you went around threatening to break their faces. But did you go out with me? No. You just appointed yourself my little guardian angel. Now you're going around telling Vinny we slept with each other. I ought to shoot you in the brains. I care about you. You care about me? Why is it that you can't show your feelings like a normal human being? You care about me. <laughs> I'm lucky you don't love me. You'd have me locked up in a closet somewhere. Go home. Oh, Denise! Go home. Denise! 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 You gotta knock them all down the wind. What do you got there? Five? Yeah, five, five. Go ahead. Oh, Sorry about that. I've been fighting this cold, you know what I mean? Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, man, you lucked out. Wanna go again? No, I don't wanna go again. The food's ready. Yeah. It's law. I have to carry my service revolver at all times. What? Are you investigating me? I already investigated you. I know your life inside out. It's not a pretty picture. Yeah, but is it a picture worth framing? I do that to a friend. Look at that. Showman back is over there. Buy something or get out of here. Come on. Come on. I used to wonder why we'd come here as mean as he is. I always liked hanging out here. Yeah, me too. Guess he's part of the attraction. You, know, you look around, you think things change. Everything stays the same. Yeah, it's just a Marion, tiny. Old man back, it's you, me, Mooch. Go through life thinking you change and everything's the same. Nothing changes. You did. Hey, Denise, you gotta stop judging my reputation and start looking at me. How's your mom doing? She's all right. She moved to Arizona. No. Yeah. But she was like a permanent part of the neighborhood. Yeah, me too. Why'd she leave? Health reasons. Sorry, what's wrong? She married a disease. I don't want to talk about it. Not to make you defensive or anything, but uh, is there anything that we can talk about? Yeah. Moochie. I don't want to talk about it. You two got a thing going or what? Look, 
I've known Mucci 20 years. I've never even seen him in his underwear. All right? He's going around telling people we, you don't know. Yeah. Can't, like, stay away like I'm his personal property. Well, he's in love with you. Did he say that? No, not in so many words. You two got a thing going? What the hell does that mean? It means the two of you were like Bobsy twins on steroids in high school. More or less in the same line of work. You never leave the badge at home, do you? Any, you're destined for a fall. And I'd like to catch you before you do. You're on the known to have underworld connections list. I run across your name two, three times a week. It hurts. You're still trying to save the world, huh, Denise? Maybe a little peace? Well, I'll tell you what, why don't we get to know each other again before you try to save me, OK? I don't know if there's time. Why wouldn't there be time? Because of what you do. Well, if that's the only problem you have, then you have no problem at all. I got to eat. Get in the car. Okay, Frank, I'll bite. Say the secret word and win an extra hundred dollars. Get in the car. Okay, okay. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't hurt my car. You see that car parked up the street? Which one? The one with the guy in it that is hunched down far enough that he thinks he can't be seen. I, I want to buy it. You were spotted playing ball with a bunch of guys that are under investigation for racketeering. Frank, will you take that damn thing off? How do you expect me to take you seriously? No, I won't take it off, and you damn well better take me seriously. Well, I was playing ball with a dozen guys. I didn't know half of them. What is this crap? My own guys watching me? Those are not your own guys. That's NYPD. And it's the reason I won't take off this stupid disguise. I don't want 20,000 cops knowing you're a field operative and I'm your supervisor. Late this afternoon, NYPD made a formal request for your federal jacket. Specifically, anything connected with the Penzola case. Look at that side mirror. I told you your buddy was investigating you. Now, did you say anything about the Penzola case? No. I mentioned it in passing the mooch. Are you telling me I'm wired? Uh, and the secret word is surveillance, and you have been under it since the night of your union. A judge issued a warrant to the NYPD racketeering division to bug your house. Make a big score here. Hey, everybody's looking to make a big score. What about my short money? Short money's for suckers. Yeah. There's a lot more where that came from. What do you think of that? I don't know what to think. Well, while you're trying to figure it out, I'm going into the thinking room. Privacy. I can't believe she did this to me. It's her job, Vince. 
I am a friend of hers. I grew up with her. She's a cop, and so are you. She stepped over the line. She violated the friendship. Now I have to teach you a lesson. Oh, well, what the hell does that mean? What, do you want to get even? What if I was a gangster and I found these things? She'd be dead like that. Oh, she messed up big time. Now, you listen to me. She did not mess up big time. There was a request to the OCB. Otherwise, you'd have no idea this place was bugged. Hey, if I was a gangster, I'd be sweeping the house for bugs all the time. A lot of them don't. And a lot of them don't. You keep your voice down. A lot of them don't discuss business at home, either. If I was illegitimate, I wouldn't be so relaxed with it. I wouldn't be so open. Even with an old friend. Especially an old friend who's a cop. Then you tell her you're a cop, and you explain to her how she messed up. She's not going to learn anything from that. She's using an old friend. It's not like she's some cop out in the street trying to nail a hood. This is personal. If she gets personal with somebody she thinks I am, she could get killed. No, she's got to learn in a visceral way the consequences of making a mistake like this. Can you believe this, Mooch? She bugged my entire house. I told you she was all business. But this... This needs a response, Mooch. You're gonna have to go through me first. What the hell are you talking about? I got a place in my heart for this one. What a surprise. Anything for you, Mooch. Okay, here we go, here we go. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could tell you how successful I am. Then tell me. Well, first you gotta tell me who I'm talking to. Denise Denali or Detective Denali? Your friend, Denny. Look at what you've done. All the risk and none of the reward. I don't risk nearly as much as you do. I don't think so. No. You're walking around here carrying debt in your pocketbook. It is. It's the only metal I'm carrying. Fifteen thousand dollars worth of gold and Swiss craftsmanship. Where's the risk? Where's the reward? You should have a little something for yourself. You tell me what's wrong with that. I don't know how to come by it. You don't, huh? No. Why don't you come with me to my office? Come on. I'll show you. Hey, how you doing? Next one, next one for you. you. Guys can't get enough of a good time, huh? No, no. There you go, just for the two of you tonight. Thanks. The lady and the tramp. Thanks, Tiny. Yeah, you got it, kid. Have a good time. Yeah, thanks. What do you think, huh? Very disappointed in you, Denise. Hey, what are you? Give me that. Give me that. This is what risk is, Denise. You go after somebody that's on their wings. You better understand what failure means. Don't do this, Vinny. We're friends. Don't do what? Betray a friend? You lured me out of my house. You bugged it. You used our friendship. All right, all right. Stop him there. 
You realize how dangerous your life can be? Okay, Moon. Hey. Oh, man. Denise. Denise, give me your hand. Just drop me, and I'll kill you. Oh, give me your other hand, Denise. I can't pull you up. Denise. Denise. No time for an argument. Denise, hold on. Don't let go of him. Please, Denise. Denise. Oh, it's me. It's Vinny. Please. Denise, hold on. I'm almost there. Denise, we screwed up. Right, we all screwed up. I wouldn't hurt you. But what you did bugging the house like that, you get caught. I was stupid to try and teach you that. Hi, right. you taught me. You taught me about 10 years off my life. Look, I thought what I was doing was right, even though I know it was wrong. I just hate what you guys grew up to be. And I can't stop the wiretaps now that they're started. Don't worry about the wiretaps. I'll deal with them. Denise. Hey, remember the cliche we used to write in the yearbooks? Stay sweet as you are and never change. I wish it was true. Denise! What? I love you. Out of the way. I love you! Oh. Don't hurt him. I wasn't the one who hit him in the head with the gun lady. But when I saw you about to die there, I knew I had to tell you I love you before you died. Oh! All I could see is what a waste of life I'd be living without you around. Even if it was to fight with each other. Get lost. Get out of here. I would marry you and become a public defender. And I don't know which would be worse. Do you mean it, Mooch? You really love me? I, I, I love you. And you want to marry me? Denise, Denise, I'm, I'm, I'm delirious here. I mean, you know, I can't be accountable for... Don't do that, Denise! Denise! Ah, uh, look at me. This is the end of my life. Oh, will you shut up? Oh. Come on, come on. Oh. Here, man. Oh. oh, boy. I was home free. You understand that? I was a young man with a good career. I had money in the bank. My own place. My own music I could play as loud as I pleased. Yeah. I did when and where I wanted. Now look what you did to me. And you're supposed to be my friend? <laughs> I'm real nice, Theranova. What the hell? You got me down here. Why don't you break the other leg? You know, you're really a miserable bum, you know that? Yeah. Denise, it's Vinny. We're downstairs. Okay, be right down. Okay. Come on, will you help me up here? Come on, will you help me up here? Ah, oh, you. No, I gotta put you on crutches for what you did to me. I didn't do anything to you. Baloney. My life was all dialed in. You forced my hand. Hey, stand up for your own big mouth. And nobody held a gun to your head. I was the one shouting all over Playland. Denise, I'm in love with Shut you. Up. Well, yeah, I'm delirious, Denise. I give up my dialing career for you. Three hundred dollars. Ow! Oh, man, get up! Get up! Get up. Right, come on! You're crushing my boutonniere here. Good. You crushed the boutonniere of my life. I'm getting married because of you. Oh, you. Hi, Hi Denise. Denise. We're gonna get married or what? Oh, 
Denise. You look beautiful. 